What is up guys, it's Yuval here. Hope you're all good, hope you're having a good day. And in today's video, we're going to try and recreate the look of Loki in DaVinci Resolve. It's only gonna take us a few simple steps. So if you wanna learn how to do it step by step, make sure you follow along. But for those of you who are maybe a little bit more lazy, there's a link down in the description where you can download the LUT or the power grade for free. So make sure you check it out. And talking about the look of Loki, I actually read an interview with the cinematographer of the show and he said that maybe his biggest inspiration for the look of the show is David Fincher. And we can see why if we look at a lot of these scenes in the show, they have that kind of greenish teal, um, kind of dark look to them, which I am a big fan of. So that's what we're going to try and do today. We're gonna keep that in mind when doing our grading. Um, so now let's jump into Resolve and actually start grading. Okay, so just quickly before we start, I just wanna show you guys how to pull up a reference shot um, in case you're just starting out in color grading in Resolve and you're not sure how to do it. So basically you have the gallery over here and you can just drag images um, over here from like your finder from your folder. So you can just drop it here and then you just simply double click it. You can see if I choose that one, then we get it over here. And if I double click this one, we get it there. So that's how you pull up the reference. Then you have like a bunch of options. Um, we could do side by side. There's also a bunch of options over here. Uh, we could do like the split thing. And if you choose um, image wipe over here, that will give you the control over this. But now let's start color grading. So this is the footage we're working with and I'm just going to park it around there just as our uh, sort of hero frame. So I'm going to start off with two nodes um, over here and I'm using Alt S to create a new serial node. And we're going to start off with more global aggressive adjustments and then we're slowly going to walk away into uh, more minor things that will really help make the like final touches. So this image is a log footage. You can see it's very flat, doesn't have a lot of colors. We can see it in the parade and then also um, the waveform. Um, so what we're going to do first is try to get this to be more of a Rec. 709 color space. And to be honest, I'm not sure which exact um, color space this footage is in because I haven't shot it. It's stock footage from Artgrid. Um, but we're going to go and just use the Aria Alexa one. And if you do know the color space you're working with, then obviously use the correct LUT. Um, but for this case, uh, this is the best we got, I guess. Um, so that's gonna be Rec. 709. And for the first node, we're just going to balance things out a little bit. So um, let's mess around with the temp and the tint. And I do have like the final um, image already in mind. So I'm not trying to like perfectly balance this. I'm just trying to get it like somewhere neutral and like somewhat looking like a reference. So something around there is a pretty good start just to get us like generally closer, maybe a little bit warmer. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna call this balance. So if I pull up the reference and I look at the waveform, um, I can see that like everything is sitting a bit higher um, on our image and we can also obviously just see it without looking at the waveform. But that just helps confirm. Um, so let's go ahead and just lower the entire exposure. Then we're going to lower the shadows a little bit. And I'm just trying to match like the overall um, brightness of the image, like the mid-tones, highlights, shadows. I'm gonna mess around with that. And I think that looks much better now. And um, if I do quick before and after on everything, um, you can see we're getting, like we're already getting pretty close. There's still some work to do, especially like the skin tones don't really match. Um, and some of the used on the background there, um, but just getting like the right exposure, the right balance, um, we're already getting there. So I'm going to create a new serial node and that one um, is gonna be Luke. And I don't think we have to do too much in there, but let's see if we can just push the colors a little bit more. And I'm going to start with the offset uh, pretty aggressively. 
so that's really helping I think just getting the overall color tone and it does feel a bit too saturated I think and maybe the blacks are a bit too crushed now so I'm just going to go into the log wheels and I'm going to just raise the shadows a little bit and mind you in the like reference image from Loki uh, there seems to be quite a lot of like haze in the background and that helps really like lift up the shadows and just make everything more airy and like the blacks are pretty open um, that's not really the case with our footage so maybe we will leave the blacks um, a little bit lower so I also want to just lower the saturation a bit something like that so this is getting very close um, there's a little bit more of a yellow, like brown kind of tone in this image, and we are very like green on this. Uh, the skin is pretty close, I think. But let's see if we can maybe just add a touch of like yellow highlights. That might help. And I'm using my primary wheels for this. Pay attention to these highlights over here on the wall. See how they are much closer now to this kind of color before they were very like blue and now they get that sort of like greenish yellow sort of tone um, which is more similar and also the blacks uh, they were very blue before now they look a little bit closer so I think we're looking pretty good so what I'm seeing now is that we have quite a lot of like this green tint um, especially in the shadows and it makes the image look um, not very clean so I'm going to create a new parallel node using Alt P and using the log wheels I'm just going to um, take the shadows and pull them in the opposite direction so we have this green tint I'm gonna pull this in the opposite direction which is magenta and I'm just looking at the darkest darks over here at her suit and like this part of the wall um, and over there, so just the darkest parts, I'm just paying attention to that. Um, so maybe somewhere around there. And obviously, this doesn't look good right now. If we do it before and after, this is like dramatically affecting the image. And that's because we need to control this more and have it only affecting the darkest shadows. And the way we're going to do that is by using the low range over here. So if I pull this all the way up, you can see this is affecting the entire image. And if I pull it down, then we're not really affecting anything. So with this feature, we're basically telling Resolve uh, what to include like as shadows. So essentially what we want to affect um, with this um, adjustment that we made here. So I'm just going to slowly pull this up and kind of see where I want to keep it. And I think that looks pretty good quite a big difference let's pull up the reference image um, okay so maybe it's a bit much let's um, actually let's go to the key over here and I'm just going to drop the output and let's kind of see where that takes us so somewhere around there looks pretty decent so let's call these shadows then I'm going to create a new parallel node that one's gonna be skin and let's use the curves here I'm going to go to U versus U I'm going to just grab her skin and let's see if we can get this a bit closer okay very subtle now let's go for uh, U versus sat I'm gonna do the same thing So we can see that the skin is pretty desaturated um, on the reference here. So I'm gonna try and match that, uh, but still keep in mind like the shot as an individual shot. I don't want it to look too desaturated. So let's do the same with Luma. And let's do a quick before and after. I think we went a little bit too far, so let's pull down the key. Yeah, somewhere around there. I think it looks pretty good. 
So I think we're pretty much there, to be honest. Um, there's just a couple more little things we could do. I'm gonna go back to my balance node and I think we crushed the highlights just a bit too much. And I wanna just up the highlights and this is not doing much because we need to control the high range. Maybe something like that, just a small touch. Then I also think we can adjust the U of the skin just a bit more. Um, so let's do that. And then just as a last touch, I want to add a few windows here and kind of shape the light just a little bit. I'm going to create a new node and I'm going to go into the power windows. And I want to do like a bit of more contrast with the light. So I'm going to use this over here and then using the curve I'm just going to kind of grab this make it something like that just a little bit so this is just adding just a little bit of a pop on the right side and then I'm going to create a new node and for this one let's just create a new window And I'm gonna bring that down. I'm just trying to kind of accentuate the light that's going on here. I wanna get more of this shadow and just up the highlights a bit on that side. So we just get a little bit more contrast and shape on the face. So again, I'm going very light here. And if I take these two nodes, this is before and this is after. It's a very minor shift, but I think it just helps a little bit um, just to give some shape. Maybe even, let's take this a little bit more extreme. Let's pull that down even more. And then pull this a little bit more up. So now it's a bigger difference. And I'm gonna call this window one. This is going to be window two. And I think this is pretty much all we're going to do. Um, if we swipe before and after, you can see this is very similar. Um, it's not a one-to-one -one match, but it's like almost. Um, obviously, if you wanted to completely recreate this, you'd have to have the same lighting, the same art direction, wardrobe, uh, basically everything like outside of grading. So this is where we started off with the log image and this is where we are right now and we didn't have to do too much. I'd say this is like pretty simple. It's not a huge node tree. We didn't go too in depth. We kept things pretty simple, um, pretty easy. Um, you could do the same, like pretty much use the same techniques to try and recreate looks from other shows or movies. So let's just watch them side by side. That's the before and this is after. So that's how to recreate the look of Loki. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. That would help me a lot and hopefully would help you a lot as well by watching more of these videos. And also check out my Instagram page. It's at a 96 I upload a lot of behind the scenes, stories, what I'm doing daily, um, what I'm working on. So um, send me a message. Let's talk a little bit. Let's get to know each other. But that is all for this video. And I'm gonna see all of you in the next one.